Hello, Satisfactory fans and people of YouTube. If you watched my last video, you'll know what that big building there in front of me is all about. And if you stayed and watched to the very end, you'll notice that I was standing on the deck with the ammo carrier. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. Otherwise known as Devastator. So, yeah. I'm just going to show you a little bit about the deck and the boat here, and we're just going to take a nice little tour about it. Kind of excited when I did the build over there. It actually uh, came from another fan over there that, yeah, that was writing over there in the Reddit. Uh, you see when I noticed he saw the battleship, he goes, man, I hope that thing makes ammunition. I was like, you know what? That is a great idea. I like it. I, mean, I want to incorporate it into something. Then I got the idea, you know, I probably need to drone all the stuff in to make the ammo and everything I needed over there. I said, that would be really cool to make an aircraft carrier. That would be a perfect idea for all the drones and stuff. And, uh, so yeah, let's, let's take it through her. So I made these guys over here, which are uh, my multiple uh, rocket launching systems over there for defenses on the boat. Looks a lot better than the old AA guns I had sitting on to top of the battleship. Quite an improvement. Uh, down here, you got the, uh, the other auxiliary guns over there, the secondary guns. You see, you got one there, and then there's, uh, yeah, quite a slew of them around the other side of the boat here. One of the whole sides of it there. And I just took little four meter signs over there and placed them up over there and make them look like little shutter doors over there so that when they are in stowage, which you'll see on the other side. Uh, yeah, with all these uh, little portholes be uh, covered up. And I made them so that they could, well, theoretically, could swing a full 360 degrees around. I'll go ahead and just uh, give you a quick look on the other side here. As you can see, these shutter doors over here are shut. If we go inside, that's what these guys will look like when they're in storage and not being used. Okay. We'll get down to this bone deck here in a little bit. Okay. So here, back at the front over here. Over here is. Uh, the whole drone setup we get over here. Um, this guy over here, he's just bringing batteries. And from another facility right over there. You really see, you see the yellow building over there. Over there is where uh, I have my uh, building that looks like a battery. Making batteries, along with some other goodies. That gun is transferred from there into the other power plant. Yeah, the, uh, there's a drone from there that comes over here and feeds all these ports here on the ship with batteries. So that's that guy's job. This guy right here gathers black powder from another plant, brings it to the ship, which gets separated uh, both into uh, ammunition making and for making novelists. As well as some of that, I think, gets transferred, yeah, gets transferred over to the plant over there, which uh, makes my smokeless powder, which gets brought from there. So this guy right here. Here is where all my steel pipes come in for the novelists to be made. And this guy over here drops in copper sheets. I believe the ammunition takes that now. And that's what these guys all do. Uh, these little spaceships I got from a mod. Well, they're pretty cool, a little difficult to fly at times over there, but they really stand out. Make the, they make the uh, deck look full. And Look like they belong there. Uh, I was trying to do, I noticed the colors of these guys over there. I was trying to make almost like a, like a United States flag pattern there. <laughs> With the little red stripes going that way, the white stripes going that way. Yeah, it's an interesting idea to do for uh, these guys on the deck of the ship. 
just ran some along over here, just kind of fill up uh, deck, deck space. Number on the boat there. That name played on right there, Devastator. Let me show you a little bit on the inside, but I haven't done too much work to it. We have a whole lot of ideas on the inside. So that's made nice and clean. Oh, there use a uh, linear motions model there for the elevator. They'll take you up through the all through the decks there. Uses a lot of, uh, some four meter signs. I'll kind of stretch them and stuff using the uh, micromanage mod over there. Just kind of laid them up in the steps over there. Makes a nice, makes a pretty neat little look. And up top, I usually ain't much uh, anything special. So I got this observation deck here. I have to do something with it later. And there's a secondary observation deck up here. It's really cool looking over the deck over there. So you know your planes over there. There's little guys over here flying information and stuff. Of course, looking over the big swamp over there. They'll get the whole lay of the land. A little train going across the levee. I like that. It's pretty cool. Top floor is the roof of the ship. I'm not quite sure what these little bubble things are actually supposed to be uh, on an actual aircraft carrier, but I saw them in the picture I was trying to recreate off of the U.S. Enterprise. They had these guys you know, strategically placed around the boat over there, and I said, What can I make that spear shape? I can recreate that, and that was the closest thing I'd come with. Well, here we got the uh, Tower. A little wired up. Lights coming off right there. A little fix it flag over there on the mast there. Couldn't think of much else to put there for a radar over there. I couldn't get a uh, a sink to fit up there, which has a little radar dish kind of looking thing on top of it. So I just stuck that guy up there for now. Kind of spins, does something. It's the bill. Over here we had the air aircraft elevator. You can just put your aircraft up over in there. Go down. Of course, with the way the mod works over there, it doesn't really uh, interact with anything solid. In fact, actually, you can fly right straight through these decks and hold through to the whole boat. The way that mod works, it's kind of weird, but anyway, if it would, if you put a car or anything there, it'll definitely take you right down here, no problem at all. You know, here we got the service bay. I need to ask where these planes would be when in storage or need for repairs or whatnot. Put a couple of crow craft benches over there. And some little tool sheds. Slide over there and a few elevators down here in the back. Just little personal elevators over there. will take you down to the back end of the ship. Not really quite sure what to, what to use. Got four. Just had to notice it was on the picture of the actual aircraft carrier, and I just kind of incorporated those in there. No of these things would be open, I guess, in the picture. But. And down here, I just used those uh, those blenders over there from the propellers. So I got one on that side, one on that side, and just made something kind of look like a rudder. That's actually how you actually get to the bottom of the ship. And now we are on the main floor. And the factory. I guess you gotta close that in a little bit. I did not notice that was uh same glass bit. See I don't hide my flaws. <laughs> I made a little suspension, try to make a little suspension bridge over there with the cables running down over there. That's a little way to kind of move power lines wherever you need them to be. So making it too obvious or too messy. Down here is where all my ammo storage is. Not so much in that one, so we got quite a bit in there. And 
this thing's in full swing. I'm going there, it'll probably produce like 2,000 rounds a minute. And over here on the left hand side, we have our Nobelisks. I think I'm only making like 150 uh, Nobelisks a minute. Oh, here we go. So you got a new fresh shipment over here. So over there, get some gunpowder. Balancer is doing her thing. A whole batch of novelists. I got plenty of room down here too in case I want to decide that I want to uh, expand this out. Maybe, maybe different kinds of novelists like the gas ones and the bolts and nukes. That'd be a future idea. For now, uh, this does enough. What the story is with this guy? Have to work that little bug out. Side here. Yeah, quite do it. Alrighty, guys, and that is a tour of the ship. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's quite a little bit of a challenge making it over there, but when it all came together over there, it was. Something pretty neat. I never made an ammunition factory before. Or an Albus factory before. Or even an aircraft carrier for that matter, so it was all new to me. Anyways, uh hope I have some more new and exciting builds for you guys over here, so I'll catch you on the next one.